Hello flower. Let me present the Opla Stress Flower. Uh, the Opla Stress Flower is a it's a little robot that I'm doing to just uh, it's a companion robot, a companion desk robot, and its purpose because every robot and every companion and social robot has to has to uh, have a purpose is to you know uh, to reflect and to help you to reflect your stress and to help you against your anxiety and your stress. So the flower is trying to uh, mimic uh, your stress levels. Uh, it's asking you about your stress. It's taking into account, you know, uh, some uh, environmental situations like the room is too hot. Uh, there is a cloud uh, day with a report. In the future, we will put also local news, analyzing, you know, bad words and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's also analyzing uh, Another uh, stuff like the presence of the of the person. For example, now the flower is sleeping. If we wake up because we have detected some movement using the pier, well, the flower will wake up, and well, in the future probably will have motors and will have a you know a mechatronic body. But in this case, we are using just uh, normal materials, let's say, very common materials, and I think this flower is very cute and it's a very good desk companion. I've been using this flower for the for the last days and I really feel it's uh, going to be a very useful platform for me uh, to fight again against you know stress levels and anxiety. So let's go let me explain in the in the following uh, videos let me explain how this works what is the the status of the of the project at this moment explaining this dashboard and you know the different options that the flower has. So let me explain to you how this work, how the manual stress feedback uh, work. So the Opla flower at this moment is like very happy because we have a stress, a stress feeling and a stress level of zero, which means that we have zero stress. Well, here you can see the dashboard, sorry for the autofocus. Here you can see the dashboard. We have uh, the stress feeling that is the manual feedback of the user and the stress level that is the total calculation. Well, uh, some webhook uh, tester, uh, the status, the time of status that we have, normal, Pomodoro, the weather, the clock, etc. Uh, and some options to configure uh, different schedules like asking about the stress uh, the user all the hours at half past or so in the clock five seconds at each o'clock hour let's say so yeah uh, let's see well we we also have the the indication of the human presence at this moment if the flower detects that there's no human in the room it will go to sleep so well here you can see the graph of the stress of the last day and we are going to change zero stress so the flower is very happy the lamp it's it's working as a normal hue lamp um let's let's change the value let's go for a one for example so with the one we have a very happy face the flower is very happy no problem With a two, same thing. Let's go for a four. You can see that the flower is happy, but it's, a, let's say, a more normal happiness, right? And with five, we start to see some behaviors like, well, things are not going well. Well, I feel weird. And we have the Hula Light acting uh, put in a, a color that indicates that uh, you have to be careful. In this case, it's orange, let's say. So let's continue. If we go up until six or seven, we will find that the flower is starting to feel uh, very bad. And the whole light, if I'm not wrong, should change color. Here we are. 
to, to another kind of uh, yellow in this case, yellow green in this case, well, yellow, more yellow in this case, indicating that things are going bad. And if we really feel and the flower feel that we are very bad, something like eight or something like that, the flower is very sad, we feel very bad, and the Philips Hue light color will indicate that status with a, with a red light too. So let's see how can I enter my stress feeling using directly the flower instead of the of the dashboard. Of course, I can use the dashboard. I can use the, uh, this, you know, this slider just to change the just to change my my stress feeling and give some feedback. But I think it's more more interesting to do it just manually using the flower. So we are going to use gestures, and of course, gestures are going to be precise and sometimes. They don't work, but here you can see we can swap to the left and here you can see that we can choose uh, green, which is I'm very happy, white, which is unhappy, purple means that, you know, I'm feeling a little bit weird, uh, blue was sad and red in this case was like very, very, very sad or, or even angry, right? So yeah, let's do it. Let's do it again. And now I'm four, which is white. I'm going to say that I'm feeling very happy in this case. Right, so now the number we change now in a, and in one, which is a very good stress level. I practically don't have a, a stress. And well, let's change to something like let's repeat the gesture. Let's change to something like I'm feeling very, very, very sad. Right, so the flower is sad, of course, and sad. And my stress feeling is night at this moment. Let's see some of the options that are already implemented in the normal mode. So in the normal mode, you can press some buttons to see additional information and change mode. For example, I can press this button and see well, a very basic at this moment uh, interface regarding the temperature, humidity, and pressure of this room, which is very important because if we have a very hot room or a very cold room, uh, the flower we know and our uh, total stress level calculation will change. So yeah, that's very important. And we also can show, for example, the clock. Let me show you what happens when we have we are uh, in a very hot room. In this case, uh, you know, comfortable temperatures are between 20 degrees normally, and something like uh, about 22 degrees is considered as hot. You know, for an office or something like that. But of course, you we can we can change its value for in each individual individual for sure. But in this case, we consider that it's very hot. You know. 24 degrees in the room, so it's not a comfortable temperature, and that temperature is going to be bad for the stress level. And for this reason, we have a stress feeling, the manual feeling that we are adding every time that the flower asks us or we introduce by, by ourselves. And the total stress levels, at the, uh, you know, after all the calculations, including in this case the temperature. So the stress level is one point about the, the stress feeling. And the flower is indicating that it's hot with the red LEDs. Let's try to, to cool down a little bit. Let's open the window. Today it's a very bad day here in Spain. And let's open the window and see what happens. Let's put some hole here. So let's start to go down. As you can see. It's going down very quick. Let's try to open the window entirely. I'm 
and here we are. Now we have a temperature below 20 degrees and therefore the room and the flower is are feeling cold. So, you know, we have another value of plus one in this case. Let's see how the flower is proactive and it's going to ask uh, about our stress feeling. You know, uh, at this moment, I have the configuration like at half past every hour of the day, but of course we can configure that to just ask once a day or just twice a day or something like that. So at half past 12, we are going to see how the flower is going to go to the stress mode and it's going to show me, you know, the different colors in the different buttons to choose the, the how I feel at this moment and reflect that on the total stress level. So just in some seconds, here we are with the beep and I can choose how I feel. I feel very sad today, not very sad, but sad today. And we are going to reflect that. So we have changed from three to the value six. So let's show uh, some proactive feedback that the uh, flower is doing, is giving us. In this case, uh, we are going to see how uh, every uh, hour the flower is going to show us uh, five, uh, during five seconds the, the clock. It's a very simple thing. It's almost 12 o'clock and we are going to see how the flower will beep just a little bit and will show us the, the, the hour. So should be almost 12 o'clock. Here we are. It is important to, to, to say, to notice that we are creating a companion robot and therefore has to create a, an empathy, uh, you know, uh, link, let's say, between the human and the, and the robot. You have to, to, to feel empathy with the robot. Um, you can do that uh, using some uh, proactive tricks, like the flower is taking the initiative, and, uh, you know, some little tricks to show or to try to mimic a, a, a real life, let's say. So, for example, you know, a flower wants to be quiet, wants to be stable in a, in a table in this case. So, for example, if we just unbalance the flower, the flower is going to be, feel bad, very, 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 very weird. And it's going to react with these strange fates uh, to, to it. So if we put the flower again in the right position, everything is fine. But you know, if the flower is in a bad position, because we are reading the IMU values and we are deciding that this is a bad position, a very unstable position for a flower, the flower will tell us that he's not comfortable. So the flower is also going to react so to, to you know some strong strong hits some strong movements like for example when we are angry and we are hitting the table <laughs> it's not my case normally but you know sometimes happens you are very frustrated and you hit the table for for some for some unknown reason right so let's imagine you are angry we hit the table the flower detects that and now it's going to add a, a a plus one to the total level of stress of the of the system. So you can see that next time the flower is going to refresh, we are going to do it manually at this moment, but it's a periodic thing. If we refresh the stress level, we are going to see that now my stress feeling is four, but the stress level, the total stress level of the flower, the, the level that is going to reflect, it's five. So yeah, after some time, you know, 
10 minutes, for example, we can configure that. After some time, that frustration will go down and the flower uh, just, you know, will return just to the normal, to the normal value.